Hello and greetings. Welcome to the Open Dental webinar about the Transworld Systems Bridge and Interface. In this video, we're going to introduce you to the new TSI feature in Open Dental, explain how to set it up, and demonstrate how to use the program bridge. Transworld Systems and Open Dental have worked together to create an integrated collections interface inside of Open Dental in version 17.4 and greater. Transworld Systems, or TSI, offers billing and collection services to dental practices. Once your office is signed up for TSI's collection services and turned on the program bridge in Open Dental, you'll be able to directly send delinquent accounts to collections from your Open Dental Manage module. This allows you to refer to collections in a timelier fashion and to collect more reliably on your accounts receivable. Uh, patients can either make payments directly to TSI or can come in or call your office to make payments. Regardless of where the patient chooses to pay their bill, it will be reflected in the patient's balance in the account module in Open Dental. So to use TSI services in Open Dental, you're going to need to sign up for collection services with TSI and then turn on the program bridge inside of Open Dental and then manage your collections account. If you click on the Manage Modules TSI Collections button before you've signed up for services with them, it'll take you to this web page where you can fill in your practices information and be contacted by a representative of TSI and get signed up for services. Later, if you have already signed up and set up the program bridge, this button is going to take you to uh, where you can manage your accounts inside of Open Dental. If uh, you have questions about TSI's collections methods, pricing for their services, or differences between the products they offer, don't hesitate to fill out the form and speak to a TSI representative directly. So in order to set up uh, TSI collections inside of Open Dental, first thing we're going to need to do is set up a custom billing type for all accounts that are sent to TSI to be used. In the main menu, click on the Setup button up at the top, and then Definitions. In the Definitions window, we're going to select Billing Types on the left-hand side, and click the Add button down at the bottom. Now we're going to enter a name to use for the billing type that's going to be automatically assigned to guarantors that have been sent to TSI Collections. In the second box, we'll mark this billing type as the Collections Billing Type by entering a capital C in the column here. And for the name, we're going to select TSI Collections. And hit OK. And close the window. Now, a quick word of warning here. Uh, do not manual assi manually assign the TSI uh, Collections billing type to any patient. Manually setting a patient as being sent to TSI Collections is not going to initiate account management with TSI. So the account could subsequently fall through the cracks. Also. Do not manually change a patient's billing type from the automatically assigned TSI billing type to something else. Manually, change, manually changing a patient's billing type is not going to stop or start TSI account management, although stopping patient payment and account syncing uh, could result in duplicate yet different statements. Basically, you want to have the TSI program bridge be the only thing that touches that custom billing type that we've set up here. Also, uh, when you're running your monthly billing statements to send uh, statements to your patients, here in the billing interface inside of Open Dental, you're able to select the billing types that you're generating statements for. We strongly recommend that you do not send statements to uh, TSI Collections accounts. Instead, you can select multiple accounts and leave off the TSI billing type that you've created. Uh, if you do mistakenly select it, you'll end up sending uh, customers and patients the uh, extra statements for the same debt on the same period of time. Now to set up the program bridge itself, we're going to go into Setup and Program Links. And then we're going to scroll down to the Transworld Systems Inc. program bridge. We'll double click and open it up. And in the Setup window, we're going to check the box at the top left to enable the bridge. Now you're going to check the boxes. Uh, for the TSI services that you've chosen to sign up for. Here, we're going to leave in Accelerator, Profit Recovery, and Collection Services checked. When you sign up for services with TSI, they'll provide you with the uh, server details and client ID for services, and you'll be able to fill those in. For today's demonstrational purposes, I'm going to enter in some test information we have so I can demonstrate the use of the bridge to you. One moment here.
Okay. You can check the box here to indicate uh, if you want TSI to send a paid in full thank you letter when the patient has brought their account current. And in the bottom section indicating account activity updates, you're going to select the time when your Open Dental, Open Dental server will send and receive payment information with the servers of TSI. You're going to enter a time that you, your system will do this in the field next to Open Dental Service Send Time. I'm going to select 7 p.m. And the frequency that you'd like it to check. And I'm going to have it do it just once a day. You'll select the time intervals between syncing here. And uh, generally speaking, we recommend you having doing this at least once a day and typically after hours. And the last drop box here is the paid in full billing time. As we discussed earlier, when you uh, send a patient account to TSI Collections, it's going to automatically change the billing type to the collections billing type that we created. Once the patient has completed their financial obligations and brought their account current, TSI will let Open Dental know that the patient is no longer in collections and will change the patient back to whatever billing type we select here. And we'll hit OK. And the program bridge is going to be enabled. So to use the TSI interface, here in the Manage module, we're going to click the click the button marked TSI Collections again. And this is going to bring up the Accounts Receivable Manager. If necessary, Open Dental will run aging here and guarantors that have a balance based on your account filter criteria up above here and haven't been sent to TSI will list on the Unsent Accounts tab. Any accounts highlighted in red like this one here, um, this will indicate uh, that the guarantor may have an invalid birth date entered, or they're under the age of 18, or that they have an invalid address entered in their patient information. Uh, generally speaking, don't send red highlighted accounts to TSI. You can adjust the filter criteria that you're looking at accounts up on the top here. And if you want, you can save the, the filter criteria you're currently using as a default by using the Save as Default button here. So now we're going to highlight the guarantor we'd like to send to TSI. I'm going to select this person here. You could also click all, select like all guarantors in the window, or none to deselect all guarantors. And down at the bottom here under account placement, you're going to select the type of TSI account to send the patient to. Typically, the demand type is going to be accelerator. TSI's accelerator service sends gentle reminder letters to patients in your office's name, reminds them to pay their balance, and allows your staff to focus on other duties. For a more urgent yet still friendly approach, uh, the profit recovery uh, service contacts your patients on your behalf. And then to prompt more delinquent debtors, the TSI's contingency collection service uh, urges patients to make payment before their accounts are charged off as bad debt. Um, so we're going to select the demand type here, select accelerator. And then you'll click the Send to TSI button right here. Any recommendations that the TSI server has for your accounts will display here. And for today's purposes, we're just going to hit Yes and send the account. Now, the C billing type that we've created earlier will automatically be assigned to any account that you send to TSI. And from that point, TSI is going to begin managing billing and collections activity on that account. If for some reason you want to stop collections efforts on a patient, you can return here to the Accounts Receivable Manager, select the Sent Accounts tab, and select the guarantors that you wish to suspend from collections. Now under Account Status Updates, we're going to select the New Status drop-down box and select Suspend, which will temporarily stop collections efforts on an account. You'll select the new billing type that you would like that account to have instead of the TSI Collections billing type actually assigned to them. And then we'll hit the Update TSI button here. And that will send the information to TSI. And I'll warn you here that it's going to be suspended for a time period. Um, and we'll hit OK. If you return to the Unsent Accounts tab here, you'll see once again that the patient that we have just taken off of sent uh, collections efforts will once again appear in the, appear in the Unsent Accounts list. And only this time, the date and time the account was suspended will show here on the right-hand side of the column. Now, we're going to return them back to collections here so that we can demonstrate how to make payments on TSI's accounts. Now, there we go. 
So after TSI has been contacting patients performing collections efforts on behalf of your practice, you'll start to receive payments on your TSI collections account. Payments can be made to TSI or a guarantor may come in or call your office to pay you directly. When a payment is made to an account that is managed by TSI uh, Billing and Collection Services, regardless of where the payment's made, you'll simply, simply enter the payment in Open Dental as normal and it will affect the overall account balance. The information will be sent to TSI using the service at the regular sync time that you've indicated when you set up a program bridge. Now, we recommend creating a separate payment type and adjustment type specific to TSI collections related payments. So to do this, we're gonna go to setup once again and definitions and payment types. Let's select the add button here. And I'm gonna name it TSI Collections. Likewise, we're gonna create an adjustment type. And we're gonna make this a negative adjustment. So put a minus sign in the box there. And we'll hit close. So I'm gonna go over the two main sets of circumstances that you'll be entering payments on accounts that have been referred to TSI. First is when the patient has paid TSI directly and TSI has sent you a check minus their fee for collecting on your behalf. You'll wanna enter a payment showing the funds that you're receiving from TSI, but then you're also gonna to wanna to make an adjustment on the patient's account to give the patient credit for the portion that TSI has withheld for their fee. So when a patient pays TSI, TSI will send the payment to the office after collecting their portion. So we're gonna to go to the patient's account here and we're gonna hit payment. Now, for patients that have the TSI billing type, this window is going to pop up and they'll give you the options of indicating that, yes, this payment is directly from the debtor or guarantor, or no, the pay payment is coming from TSI. So if you've received a check from TSI in the mail, we're going to select no, that this payment is from TSI. You're going to enter the amount on the check that you're receiving from TSI. That's not going to be the full amount that the patient paid them. So we're going to enter it here. And in payment type at the top, we're going to select the TSI uh, payment type that we created. And we'll hit OK to make the payment. Next, you'll want to create an adjustment on the patient's account so that they can get credit for the portion that they've paid that TSI has withheld for a fee. To do that, we're going to select adjustment. And this window will pop up asking whether it's an adjustment supplied by the office, you, or if this is the result of a payment received from TSI. In the, in the event that you've gotten a check from TSI like we've just entered, you'll select no. And you're going to enter an adjustment amount and select the TSI collections negative uh, adjustment type. And you'll enter the amount that TSI has withheld for their fee in the amount box over the top here. And hit OK. And so the check that you've gotten from TSI and the portion uh, that TSI has withheld for their fee will both be accounted for in the patient's account module here. Now the other kind of payment type that you'll be taking on TSI accounts is when the patient has been contacted by TSI, but they're coming into your office uh, to make a payment on their delinquent account. Uh, so you'll want to enter a payment showing the total amount you're receiving from the patient, but then you're going to want to issue a payment to TSI from the patient's account to cover the TSI for account management uh, fees. And then to bring the account square again, you're gonna make an adjustment to give the patient credit for the portion that you're sending to TSI for their fee. So when a patient pays the office, um, messages automatically sent to TSI, they have a record of the payment. The office will send the agreed portion of the payment to TSI. Um, we'll go to the patient's account here and we'll select the payment button. Once again, the following message will pop up. Now, in this case, the payment is coming directly from the patient coming into your office. So we're going to select yes. This will send a message to TSI about the payment during the designated sync time daily. And we're going to enter the full payment amount and complete the payment as usual. And select the TSI collections billing type and the entire bulk uh, amount of the payment is gonna display there. So the next thing you'll want to do is uh, 
enter TSI's portion of the payment that you're gonna be sending to them. So we're gonna select payment again. And when prompted this message, yes, the payment is from the guarantor or debtor. And we're gonna enter the amount that you're going to be sending to TSI. And we're gonna change the amount to negative here because you're going to be issuing TSI payment and sending them a check. Select the TSI collections payment type that you created here and hit OK. So this will display that yes, you received a check from the patient in the full amount. You are issuing a check to TSI to cover the collections efforts for this patient. And then lastly, because we're gonna want the patient to get credit for the amount they've paid, we're gonna create an adjustment as well. And the following message will pop up again. And this is an adjustment that you're making to your own accounts. You did not receive this payment from TSI, so we're gonna select yes. Enter the amount for the adjustment that you'd like to make from the account and select the TSI collections uh, adjustment type that you created and hit okay. And this will bring the account fully square. So this uh, basically completes our overview of the TSI interface in, interface in Open Dental. Um, you'll be able to uh, stay on top of your collections efforts a little more smoothly by being able to do, access it directly from your practice management software. Uh, if you have any questions about TSI services, please contact your TSI representatives. If you need help getting the program bridge configured and running um, or accessing an Open Dental, please don't hesitate to contact uh, Open Dental Technical Support. We'll be happy to assist you. Thank you. Have a great day.